with Lee Personal Fit. Welcome to our CrossFit inspired workout today. Uh, today we're kind of mixing up some CrossFit methods of working out. We're going to do every minute of the minute and then AMRAP. And we're going to go back and do another every minute of the minute and another AMRAP. So it's four, six, four, six as far as our minutes and breakdown. So really we have about 20 minutes of work and we'll have about a minute break in between each one of those four different segments. Okay, so. Um, Total Body Workout, I hope you enjoy it. If you haven't done these workouts before, uh, Imam, every minute on the minute, and you can follow my lead, um, you need to get in two exercises. The reps are all 10, we're trying to keep it simple. Um, so in our first case, it's 10 squat jumps, 10 push-ups. Push-ups, obviously people vary in strength on that. Um, you can make those more difficult if you want to, or make them a little uh, less challenging, so you can go for your knees if you need to. Uh, you could go traditional. If you have a hard time on the floor, you could go up on a bench or a chair, okay? So match your fitness level with that. Uh, so really, what you need for this workout, honestly, if you have some dumbbells, you don't need to do anything really heavy. You're set, okay? If you don't have dumbbells, uh, we talked about a possible chair for push-ups. If, if you need an elevated surface, not many people would need that, but I run into a few, whether it's wrist issues or whatever the case may be, where you want to elevate up for your push-up, that's fine. Uh, you could use gallon jugs instead of dumbbells too if you don't have dumbbells available to you. Okay, so that's just kind of a, a, a home kind of thing that you could kind of just to get a good workout anyway without weights. Okay, so um, guys, let's get started. Okay, um, and I'll go through each of these circuits as we approach those. Okay, so our first one is 10 squat jumps, then 10 push ups. Okay, it's so we'll do four rounds of this. So at the beginning of every minute, we get 10 squat jumps, 10 push-ups. The rest of your time is rest. Now, I have the timer set for 45 seconds. If for some reason you run beyond that 45 seconds, maybe push-ups are really challenging, you're really trying to squeeze out, just stop when you hear the tone because you only have 15 seconds for you to start again, okay? Also, if jumping's a problem, just do a squat, okay? Don't jump. If you're going to jump, make sure you land softly. Okay, so uh, it's better if your body's a little warm. So, you know, try to be a little warm before you start and uh, we'll get started. Here we go. Uh, I've got the timer set here and we're starting with 10 squat jumps, 10 push ups. <clears throat> here we go. Three, two, one. So we have 10 squats, guys. Here we go. Now we're going push-ups, we're going to match your fitness level. Okay, the rest of the time is a breather and we have about 25 seconds. This will definitely get the blood moving here. This is 15 second warning. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Number two, 25 seconds. Fifteen seconds. <clears throat> All right, here we go.
Okay, we're up. Take a couple deep breaths. That was round three. We have about 25 seconds. Okay, here we go. Okay, we have about 25 seconds. So if you're still doing those push-ups, keep going. 15 more seconds. Five, three, two, okay. Hey, the first part of the workout is complete okay so now guys we'll have about a minute or so off here and let me put the next circuit on the screen next one is an AMRAP so a little different than the email we just did with this one we're not going to stop after you get through the circuit you're going to try to get to the circuit as many times as you can using good form in six minutes so it's a running clock and you're just going through this circuit okay um, 10 reps again. So I want to try to keep this one just simple, okay? Guys, we're going to do a squat thrust swing, okay? So um, it's like a half burpee, okay? So if you have dumbbells, you can use those. Uh, if you have gallon jugs, you need to set those down. Company, you can pick them up and swing them, okay? Um, gal uh, so dumbbells with those, uh, 10 of those, okay? Um, follow my lead. Okay, if you're not positive, but basically you're just going to squat down, jump your feet back, jump forward, and then come and you're going to swing, and then we'll come back down. So 10 of those, very aerobic, right? Then we'll go 10 iso rows. So the weight, you don't need a whole lot of weight for these, uh, for those swings. You can probably use the same weight. If you want to go a little heavier, I guess you could go heavier, but we're going to pull the weights up to the hips, hinge over, and then we're going to alternate coming down. So we hold one at the top while the other one comes down, then we'll just alternate those. So 10 with each side there, and then 10 curls. And then right back to the squat, the swing, all right? So guys, we've been off for a little over a minute here. Um, let me pull the next one up. So this is gonna be our six minute running clock. Whoo, okay. <clears throat> all right, I'm gonna hit start here. We have six minutes. Uh, Guys, I have 20s and 25s, so I might start with 25s. Uh, just, just use what you can manage. Again, you could use gallon jugs for this, okay? So you're gonna have to use dumbbells, all right? Uh, let's hit start. We're counting down for three. Okay, so I have to 25s. So guys, squat, thrust, boom, jump back. You have your plank. One. Two. Okay, next, ISO rows. <clears throat> Back is straight, hinge forward.
Okay. And now, whew, curls. Here we go. Back to squat thrusts, right? We have 10 of those. <clears throat> A little tiring. Here we go. Your next, catch your breath for a moment. Whew. They're tiring. Curls are next. Here we go. All right, I'm gonna sit these down for a minute. Shake them out. Oh man. All right, squat thrust swings. Here we go. Rows are next. Whew. Guys, that's tiring. All right, let me set these down. Man, that was our six minute AMRAP, and that got me a little fatigued here. Um, whew. All right, the next one, guys, we're going back to an e mount. All right, so let me change out the clock again here. 
real fast. All right, with this one, again, it's 10, we have Renegade Rose. So we're in a plank position, and it's one, two, three. So it's five with each arm, really, okay? If using something other than dumbbells, if you're using like gallon jugs, guys, obviously you can't hold on those and press them for so you'll pull one up, set down, and you'll switch hands. So there's another element to that one, where dumbbells, you can just hold on the whole time. Okay, so we have 10 Renegade Rows. Then we'll stand up with your dumbbells and we're gonna do 10 of these hanging squats. Okay, so we'll look dumbbells kind of sumo style. So we'll just squat down and drive up. Okay, so again, this one is just four rounds. Renegade Row squat. Boy, guys, <clears throat> I'm a little tired here. Set those down. Okay. Whew. Guys, I guess that's been a minute. Maybe a little over. I can use a little more time, but let's keep pushing here. All right. Renegade rows. Here we go. Try to get the back flat. Ten. We're up ten squats. Here we go. Whoo! Boy, that one takes a little while. Fifteen seconds. Here we go, folks. Whoa, it's gonna push me a little bit. Five, here we go. <clears throat> Fifteen seconds. This is challenging you.
Wow. Here's a 15 second warning. If you're still going finish strong here, this is an exhausting one. All right. So, while I catch my breath, let me fill the next circuit on the screen. Okay. Tough. We have thrusters, squat overhead press. We have row RDLs. Soft knees straight back. Then we'll get a push up position. Drive knee forward, internally rotate. So knee drive rotation, right? That's our next one. So let me switch this around and we'll give us a little bit of time here. All right, I think I'll get a drink. Pretty exhausting. It doesn't look like it'd be that tiring when you look at this four and six minutes, but I like that we break it up. And it really does, it, it grinds on you with those short amount of time. Okay. All right. <clears throat> okay guys, so we have the circle on the screen, 10 thrusters, Row RDLs, plank knee drive internal rotation. Okay, again, that's that's only five with each leg. So every one, like the renegade row, every one counts as like one and then two and three. Okay, here we go. Six minutes and we're done. So thrusters, ten of them. Here we go. Second, reward yells. And if you can keep going, just keep going. I'm a little gas right now. 10 reward yells, knees are soft, back straight. Row one. Knee drive rotation. <clears throat> In a push up position, you can use a chair for this also if you need to. So you're elevated. Drive. hair lighter on these thrusters starting to get a little spit in here
knee drive rotation. Back to the thrusters. Whew. One, two, Okay, knee drive rotations. Thrusters. Oh, three. Saved by the bell here. Wow. Okay, that was tiring for me. I hope it was for you. Hope you challenged yourself and had a great workout. Total body. Guys, I, again, I like how it's broken up. You know, it's not too monotonous. We're doing the same thing over and over and over. We changed gears a little bit throughout this workout. So, man, thanks for watching. This is Elite Fitness. Bring your wellness to you.